Hello guys, this is Anton from Johannesburg, South Africa. Thank you so much for all the subscribers that helped me to grow my channel. <coughs> Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will put the, the YouTube link below. Uh, it helped me tremendously. Today, a lot of people on the channel asked me to make a video on on sea grade, just growing cattle. Now this is my my sea grade crawl. Uh, this cows walk in the veld. Unfortunately, in South Africa, you cannot really leave your cattle in the veld anymore. So my cattle doesn't sleep in the veld; they sleep in the crawl. All this cattle here, sea grades old cattle, some of them are A-grade, this cattle that I selected last year uh, in terms of female cattle to put them in this in this uh, kraal and to have them uh, had, had, had put the bull with them I got a Ramagnola bull with them, so the calls that you'll see in this in this uh, in this uh, herd will mostly be either Ramagnola or it will be uh, Simmentaler. I got a Simmentaler bull. If you see there, far there is a small Simmentaler calf. I like my brown brown uh, calves. That's why I got mostly brown females. This is just a commercial lot here, herd here. But I want to tell you a few things about uh, female cows and and breeding with cows, breeding with cattle overall. If you look at this cow here. It's pregnant, you can see the stomach is quite large, it's uh, about another three weeks to a month. <coughs> it's a Simmentaler cross, you can see it because of the white head. Uh, the actual length of the cattle is ideal. You don't want the cattle, uh, you, must, you must remember half of the, of the genetics come from the mother and half of the genetics come from the father. So you can have a brilliant father and a terrible mother means you're still gonna breed that genetics down to the children so this cow is fairly long <clears throat> in terms of from left to right uh, it's a very long cow you want that the more the longer the, the, the carcass is the more meat you're gonna breed down to the children <coughs> you must make sure the eyes are far apart of your of your less a little baby uh, you must make sure your eyes are far apart <coughs> This little baby's mother, father is a Ramagnola. You can see the white. This baby many times becomes completely white. I got two bulls. So the one bull is a, is a Simmentaler and the one bull is a Ramagnola. This is definitely, definitely Ramagnola father. Because I know the mother is a Ponsmara. <coughs> this is a limousine. Limousine suffer on the veld. Definitely need help on the veld. It uh, cannot wear a bonsmara. This I say especially for the Americans. You guys did, uh, uh, mostly got Angus. Angus is a very good, uh, especially black black Angus. It's very good for the feedlot. Yeah. But I want to tell you now, your uh, South African bonsmara will out with out, out feed your Angus. 10 to 1 to the feedlot. You guys just didn't realize the, the beauty of a Bonsmara cow. Uh, it's, it's next level. Uh, Bonsmara will outfeed the uh, Angus any day. So, uh, a very simple way to see if your cow is pregnant. If you look at the vagina of the, of the cow, you cannot really see it on this one. But on the bottom of the vagina, there's a small little clossy that hangs there. If you see that clossy, it means that the cow is pregnant. Many of you guys got a system where you actually do a pregnancy test. This cow I can see is pregnant. If you look very nicely, you can actually see the baby moving there. <coughs> but this cow is about four weeks from, from uh, labor. On the, this girl also you can see is pregnant, is very far pregnant. But you see that little clossy on his vagina. I don't know if you can see that. 
But normally if you got that glossy, that cow is pregnant. Now I don't know if my, my phone, uh, my phone uh, focus is good enough, but if you look in the middle of this cow's back, you will see the they got a amount of hair that's standing straight up, straight up like a brush cut hair on a human's back. The second that you see that brush cut that hair, look this one. You see in the middle of his back, there's some hair standing straight up. If you got that in the middle of his back, he's normally pregnant. Um, <coughs> in South Africa, we're in the end of the winter now. We should get our first rains in the next three to four weeks. So this cow uh, is not in a very good condition right now. This is a female baby from last year that uh, that's walking with the bull now. <coughs> it's not not a grown cattle yet. But that's the way we can determine whether he's pregnant. You're looking for a long body, you're looking for a high body. If you look at the female belt, if you look at my stand level to this cow now, <coughs> you see the actual body size from top to bottom is bigger than the actual bone leg size. If you look at this leg size there, and the body size must be bigger than the leg size. Because that, that same genetics is going to breed to the child, to the baby calf, and that's what you want in the baby calf. <coughs> um, so you want a, a large forequarter, a large butt, <coughs> a nice even back, because all everything you see here, you're going to breed into his calf. Doesn't matter how cute the calf is, you want meat genetics in that calf. If there's proper meat genetics in the calf, that meat genetics will perform in the feedlot. So you must you must uh, breed for the purpose to to create a calf that can do well in the feedlot. So you must do that already with the male and the female uh, breeding stock that uh, create your your babies of next year. Yeah, so uh, if you look at this Simmentaler, it's got a beautiful bolt. Look, the body size is bigger than the legs. <coughs> uh, Bonsmara, cow or calf or cattle, got the big advantage that they do well walking in a felt and they don't need a lot of help. All the import cows, all your limousines, your Simmentalers need help on the felt. They perform well, but they need the extra feeding to, to stay Look good looking in the felt where uh, <coughs> where Bonsmara actually goes goes through the winter much easier and I don't say they don't need any help but they more easily go through the winter with uh, without too much help <coughs> look the beautiful sun this cow is far 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 pregnant it's probably going to give labor in the next week look how that stomach is standing maybe it's even a twin it's very very large at this stage and even look look after that look at the condition of this cow still in a fairly good condition end of winter condition you'll also find this time of the year a lot of cows will got this extra hair here you can see it on this cow they lose their winter hair they got an extra winter pelts that comes in that they will lose this time of the year. You see this light brown one? He's busy losing his hair. And uh, even this Sponsmara, <coughs> you see he's losing his hair. <coughs> so uh, in about three to four weeks from now, that pelts will be smooth, smooth, smooth again. And they will... Uh, they will... Uh, Get a complete summer pels ready for the summer. Look that hair. See that hair that's coming off on his, on his uh, back, on his side. <coughs> if there's any questions you guys are got in terms of normal commercial felt cattle, please ask me. I can help you with most of the questions. Um, <coughs> on on felt cattle, I only deworm. I don't inject all kinds of knoppies fell and 
lung disease and nothing like that. I do that in a feedlot. In a, in a felt cattle, I, I, I only inject uh, your normal ivermectin <coughs> and put use a pour on maybe for the back, for the ticks and so forth. <coughs> Further than that, I treat. Uh, I treat whatever comes forth. So if I see there's a sickness, I recognize most of the sicknesses, so I can treat them for quite fast. Uh, and then, then you might jump in. One of the easiest, easiest ways to recognize that any cattle is sick is the fact that they stop eating. 90% of sicknesses, if a cattle is sick, the first thing that comes forth, like a human, he, he doesn't, he, he loses appetite. <coughs> so if you eat less, you, you eat nafi, uh, then you know that cattle is sick. The easiest way to recognize that the cattle is sick or cattle did not eat, on the stomach, you see that little spot right there, you will see a triangle. If that triangle, if you look at that baby calf, <coughs> that stomach is not full. You see there's a triangle on his stomach, it means his stomach is empty. Even if the cattle is not fat, this cattle is mar, <coughs> they will still be, if the stomach is full, the triangle is gone. If, the, if there's a triangle there, it will, it shows you this cattle did not eat properly. Alright guys, put in the comments any questions you have, I'll try to answer and make a video of your questions. Thank you so much, have a nice day.